This video is brought to you by Bye Bye Baby. If you've got a baby budget and you're willing to spend some money on some pricey things while you're expecting a newborn, the golden question is, what should you get? So I'm gonna run you through five different options I think you should definitely consider, all of which can be found at buybuybaby.com. It is the number one place to find baby gear, so check out buybuybaby.com, find some deals and steals, and build those registries. So there are a lot of baby items in that premium tier, and I am sure influencers and Lots of friends of yours have swayed you in different directions for must-haves that you need, right? Now, I wouldn't say that you need any of the things that we're gonna be talking about uh, because you don't technically like need anything that's pricey, but it is still money well spent and can definitely make your life a lot easier in those early months of your parenting journey. So starting off with number one on my list is Duna. It's something that I reviewed a while back and I should probably redo that review because I kind of underrated it. Our absolute favorite product that we've been using for baby number three has been the Duna. This is one of the most unique baby products that's ever been made since it's both an infant car seat and a stroller. Now for our first two kids, we primarily used and up a baby Mesa car seat that adapted natively to a Vista stroller. And while we've tested multiple options for this YouTube channel, for baby number three, we were just gonna stick with that formula because it worked, it was great. But at the hospital, we decided to bring along uh, the Duna and we planned to flip back and forth between that and whatever options that we've had. Up a baby, Mockingbird's been great. Really, from the get-go, the Duna has been our main go-to option, being perfect for daily errand running and being incredibly convenient for our lifestyle of bouncing between school, stores, restaurants, local events. With two kids that are a little bit older, it seems that we've got like a ton of different activities going on and on. And the last thing that we want is our baby gear slowing us down. Now, that is such a first world problem of having to be inconvenienced by going into your trunk and getting your bulky stroller to open up and snap on your infant seat. Like in today's world, we have some of the slimmest, most convenient options that you could possibly find. But when you've got a taste of the Duna uh, and the practicality that it offers, there really is no better option. Now, there are a couple things that I could nitpick at, right? It's got a limited lifespan of about 12 months before you have to transition to a convertible car seat. It feels a tad too short for a lot of folks that are out there. The suspension, not great. There's no storage capacity whatsoever, so taking it on grocery trips, not ideal. The seat straps don't really rest openly, so every time you put your baby in the car seat, you kind of do have to fish for the straps a little bit, but that's me as a reviewer being very nitpicky about it, but all all of that is overridden by the practicality and daily use of the Duna itself. It functions so perfectly and lends itself to great use, especially in city life. A few of the guys who've taken our father figured course to prep and get through the first year of fatherhood, which by the way, is a great course that you should definitely check out, fatherfigure.com. Uh, they went with the Duna, they shared it on our private Discord, and they absolutely loved it. So it's not just me saying that Duna is legit. There are plenty of happy dads, plenty of happy parents that are out there who've got Duna. Now, originally my plan for this video was to highlight one thing in each major category, but because uh, the Duna kind of hit two birds with one stone, and we're gonna be talking about another car seat a little bit later, I'm just gonna take a moment to give an honorable mention here and say that if you are gonna splurge on a stroller or a travel system, I'm still fanboying over the Upper Baby Vista and Cruise, uh, which we've used since 2017 in tandem with the Mesa car seat, which I mentioned at the top of this video. Whichever one you go with, Vista, Cruise, it kind of depends on different lifestyle variables. I reviewed both of them on this channel and I'll have them linked in the description of this video. Moving on, number two on my list is the Baby Bjorn One Carrier. One of the most requested reviews on my channel is to review baby carriers. And in five years, for some reason, I haven't reviewed any. So here it is. The Baby Bjorn One is my favorite carrier ever. About 98% of the people who are watching this video right now are gonna be actively shopping for a stroller and car seat, but only half of you are gonna add a baby carrier to your registry, and that is a problem. We're gonna talk about the Bjorn in just a sec, but here's the thing about carriers. It is the ultimate hack to calming your baby and increasing bonding time, especially 
for dads. One study even found that baby wearing reduced infant crying by 43% overall and 51% at night. Now, I'm not gonna lie, nothing can prepare you for the first two months with a newborn. It's exhausting and it, it kind of, I mean, it kind of sucks. It's beautiful, but like, it kind of sucks. The guys on our father figure discord, like we talk about it. It's not an easy time, it's a grind. But for me, a baby carrier was one of the few things that gave us peace during the days that really felt difficult. It's how I kept getting things done around the house while still having the baby close. We've used it for travel. In fact, it is my recommended way to get through airports. And if there are events that are too crowded where strollers can feel a little bit difficult to push, our Bjorn comes in clutch. Now, personally, I love the Baby Bjorn 1 over ring slings and other carriers, primarily because of the overall feel for me, especially on, on my body type. Putting on similar carriers in its price range, like ones from Ergo Baby, they've always felt like a, a little bit like a puzzle. And baby wearing can be pretty technical. And if you're not exactly sure what you're doing, it doesn't always feel right. But with the Bjorn, I always found this to be super easy to put on and get my baby in. Uh, we, we have both the mesh version, which is made of a lightweight material and is much more breathable, but we also have their standard one version, which offers a little bit more rigidity. I, I love them both and I cannot recommend them enough. Everything that I'm talking about is gonna be linked below and a carrier should be an absolute must add item to your list. Doesn't have to be the Baby Bjorn one, it's one that I like, but definitely add a carrier to your list. Next up, I wanna talk about a very splurge worthy convertible car seat. A lot of parents are gonna opt for infant car seats since that's gonna be the most convenient option, but some parents like to think ahead and go with the convertible right off the bat as it could actually be a little bit more cost effective. Plus, you're eventually gonna have to get one after the first year anyway, so just why not start with it? Now, one of the best splurgy premium convertible options that you're gonna hear about most often is the Nuna Rava. And while it is great, I do wanna give a bigger shout out to the Kleck Funf for not only having one of the best safety ratings, but having a slim profile to fit three across and many vehicles, I would definitely splurge on the Funth. But the main one that I wanna shine a spotlight on are the Britax Click Tight models, which in my opinion, have the easiest installation on the market. And when you have a single convertible that needs to bounce around between two family vehicles, which is kinda of like what happened with us, that's a pretty invaluable feature. Fishing a belt through a seat and getting a tight in install every single time is not easy to achieve, but with click tight, it makes it very quick and simple because at the end of the day, the best car seat, it's a question I get a lot, what's the best car seat? The best car seat is simply the one that is installed properly. And I think click tight makes it easiest for parents to nail it every time. We've been longtime fans of the Britax Boulevard, and we just added the One for Life into the mix. I know a lot of parents who are particularly high on the One for Life since it can support newborn up through age 10, but it's worth noting that Baby Gear Lab isn't particularly high on it since crash tests uh, didn't score as high as others, and they simply don't believe in a one-size-fits-all option. So if you're in agreement with that, then the Boulevard or Advocate might be better click-tight options for you. So moving on, the next item on my list is gonna be one that we've only recently discovered with baby number three. This isn't the most outrageously priced thing in comparison to other things on this list, but when we're talking 50 bucks for a sleep sack, it can feel a little bit much. But this is a splurge video, so here's why Kite Baby has become our favorite sleep sack. This is one of the most thoughtfully designed sleep sacks that you're gonna find. It has zippers on both sides so you can zip down from the top to make it easier to put the baby in the sleep sack or zip up from the bottom for easy access to the diaper for those midnight changes. Now a sleep sack is something that we use every time the baby sleeps. So that's a couple times a day, every single day. So for us, $50 investment is actually worth it for something that we're using daily. And it kind of functions as a blanket while adhering to safe sleep standards, but also serves as a way for the baby's legs to keep from slipping through those crib slats throughout the first year and beyond. 
The exterior of Kite Baby sleep sacks are made of bamboo rayon and spandex. It is buttery soft and incredibly breathable, but it also has a touch more weight to it, which can potentially help with better sleep. But the thing that takes this one step further is the way it's made to regulate temperature. You can actually buy their sleep sacks rated at different TOG levels, which basically just means thermal overall grade, which is used to measure how fabric can insulate heat. So you can get the heavier 2.5 TOG uh, during those winter months or the 0.5 TOG during the warmer summer months, or you can just stick with a 1.0, which is a good overall option. And that's what we have. Our daughter is visibly excited every time she gets tired and, and gets zipped into her sleep sack. Uh, it's part of our, our sleep routine. She, she's definitely built a positive sleep association with her kite baby sleep sack thing. Uh, and it's it's been great for us. To round this out, the last splurgy item on my list might not be relevant for everyone, but we've used the Baby Brezza Formula Pro through three kids and it has been such a lifesaver for us. If you're exclusively breastfeeding, this probably has no bearing for you whatsoever. But if you are supplementing or you're exclusively feeding with formula, then I can't say enough good things about this. Now, I wouldn't say that you have to register for this right off the bat or, or, or buy it before the baby comes. You can probably wait a few weeks until after your newborn is here to make a decision on this. But when we're talking about splurging on things, you know, we're dropping cash on items that are gonna save us time or make life easier. And the thing about this is that it actually does both. With the press of a button, it dispenses formula at the exact amount that you need at the perfect temperature every single time. You don't have to measure out formula or water into bottles and give them a shake or, or stir, whatever you do. All of it is dispensed in a matter of seconds with the Brezza. If you're using formula, the last thing that you want to do during those late night feeds is the whole process of, of getting a bottle ready. Yes, you can definitely give this privilege a major eye roll. I, I fully get it. But if you got the budget for it, I'd say add this to your arsenal because this thing is awesome. You can watch my full review on it right here on Dadverb and be sure to check out byebyebaby.com to find any steals and deals on the Brezza or anything else that we mentioned in this video. So that's all I've got. Thanks to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring this video. And if you're a new or expectant dad, we've got courses and guides for you to check out fatherfigure.com. If you found this video helpful, give us a big thumbs up here and go ahead and check out this video next. God bless. We'll catch you later.